Oh, check this out. We're gonna build the bite of all bites here. We've got our yolk, right? We've got some avocado. We've got some tomato. And the final piece. Woo! What's up, guys? All right, back at the jetty for the first time since uh, shelter in place went down in March of earlier this year, and uh, it's now middle of June or something like that. Um, I found the last time I was here that uh, the crab bite is exceptionally good during certain tides. We're here at one of those tides, and the water is exceptionally calm. And uh, when the water is calm, the crab uh, can run around freely, and they don't hunker down in the sand as much. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. I have two rods, one over there and one over here, and uh, they're soaking right now. My special juice bait. We'll see if we can uh, put some crabs on just like that last nighttime crab video. Be happy to uh, put a catch and cook together for you guys tonight. Let's see if we can get them. All right. All right, second rod pull of the evening. It's probably like, I don't know, 8.30, something like that. And there's still just enough light to kind of see what I'm doing. And do I feel any weight? Maybe a little bit of weight, we'll see. All right, well. First crab on the juice. Doesn't feel big though, but sometimes they're not very big coming up. Okay, we'll take a short just to know that the crabs are here. That's sometimes the price you pay. Pay for a little short up front, just to know that there's action and activity. Probably gonna be a little female. Yep, a little balled up female coming up. Let's see. Oh, that's a male. Oh no, that's a female. But hey, she could be wide enough. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. First juice crab, we'll see. I don't know. Yeah, she's kind of soft. Sometimes when they're just molted, they're like so soft. They're not uh, worth eating because they don't have a ton of meat. And, oh, well, technically first keeper. It's a female. She's just over five and three quarters and she's soft. So, man, ideally you want to save you want to save all your effort for a male that's about this big. See how she's soft like that? So she's just coming off a molt. And there's probably not going to be too much meat in her. But there will be meat in the shoulder. So again, California, you can keep females. Uh, although etiquette, etiquette dictates you should try to aim for males if you can. But we're going to hang on to her um, just for the sake of hanging on to her. So now that we have a keeper on deck. So put this one in the bucket for now. We'll try to upgrade and uh, trade out for a keeper male that's nice, hard, and heavy. Three hours later. We are struggling. Three hours at this place, and uh, we are struggling to get a bite. Whew. All right. Uh, I don't know if this video is gonna happen, boys and girls. It has been a grind. It's wet, it's slimy, and oh, I might have a crab on. Here we go. Here we go, can we save the video? Oh, let's go! There we go! Oh, that's a decent one. Oh, maybe it's, hopefully it's not a little one sideways. Hopefully it's not a snare. Hopefully it's not a big muscle. Here we go. Oh, this feels good. Okay, hopefully, I don't care if it's a rock crab, I'll take it. Let's go. Oh, I could feel the weight when I was tugging on it. Let's go, come on, loops. Stay close, baby. Here we go. Let's go. I can't see anything. It's about 11 o'clock on the jetty. It's super foggy. And I don't know if you can see on the screen, but everything is blowing sideways. Here we go. Hopefully it's not a parachuting crab. Hopefully it's something decent. It looks okay. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, baby. Here we go. Candy mail. Heck yeah, save the day. Woo! Earn that guy. Here we go. All right. Now I got to make it back without dying. Oh man, he's barely hooked. Look at that. Look at that. Dude, the difference in a cheap snare and a homemade one is this crab. You see that joint? If this uh, loop material was anything less than what I'm using, 
Oh man, I would have lost this crab for sure. 100%, look at that. See how it popped off? I use loops that are pretty tacky and pretty sticky, and I had them on the outside of the joint. So if I had a cheap snare, and if I was using just regular mono leader line, that stuff is pretty slick, and I think I would have lost them in the wave break, but no. The fact that I had some good quality loop material is the reason why I'm holding this keeper right now. And I know he's a keeper, I've caught enough. This guy is easily six inches, he's heavy. He's got that brown mottled purple orange and brown color that we all love heck yeah heck yeah that's gonna be father's day breakfast for me right here crab fried rice we'll take it all right that does it we caught our two crabs we got a nice healthy male here six and a quarter and how do i know it's a male that uh, apron right here is super skinny compared to this female, which is really wide. And so that's the difference between a male and a female Dungeness crabs, wide apron, uh, skinny apron. And you can tell this one is like super soft. See how I'm just kind of thumbing her apron here and it's really squishy. So you can tell she just molted, which means a lot of her energy went into the molting and there's not a lot of meat in her. And uh, this guy's really heavy, really hard and just full of meat. This is exactly the crab we wanted. So uh, like I said, we're gonna probably release this girl right here because um, she's not just worth the you know the time it takes to process but this guy here is exactly what we want so it's late on the jetty it's about uh, 11 p.m. or something like that so kind of late for me I don't think I'm gonna take the time to cook anything but because it's Father's Day tomorrow my wife promised me um, some crab fried rice uh, for breakfast and so that's exactly what we're gonna do and how am I gonna keep these guys healthy well all you need is a small bucket like this this is like a two and a half gallon bucket I'm gonna fill it up with salt water and I have a built-in aerator get a cheap little bubble box fill that with salt water and uh, put this guy in and call this guy breakfast I'll see you there all right it's the next morning and uh, this guy has been in my bucket all night just kind of percolating and uh, expunging all that sand that you see at the bottom this is salt water that I scooped up uh, on my way out from the jetty and uh, I used it to keep this guy happy so the water in here is probably like I don't know 60 60 65 degrees uh, these guys are pretty hardy, so you don't absolutely have to have, you know, perfect water temperature to keep these guys alive. As long as you have uh, the salt water that they came out of and um, some uh, air, you know, constant source of air. I normally have a battery operated one that I, uh, you know, plumbed into this bucket. But uh, to save the battery, I use an old um, aquarium filter to keep that guy uh, nice and happy. So he's um, he's alive. He's a he's awake. It's just a. Uh, it's breakfast time so buddy thank you for your food uh we're going to uh you know dispatch him pretty quickly we're gonna use this knife pull it under his apron here and uh for anyone that's a little squeamish you don't want to see this uh this is how i properly uh dispatch crabs again there's a nervous system the center of the nervous system slash heart is right underneath this point right underneath the top of the apron so we're just gonna plunge this knife through and uh, give this guy a proper dispatch. hard work man this is it this is the crab fried rice crab fried rice breakfast platter so we've got the dungeness mixed in the garlic rice tomatoes avocado uh, two sunny side up eggs my favorite and of course bacon and so it was a lot of hard work but man when you can put it all together well if your wife can put it all together it's definitely worth the payoff of those big chunks of dungeness crab right in there There it is. Super worth the hard work. You're only limited to two rods uh, off a of structure, so you really only have like 
a certain amounts of area that you can cover with your snares but uh, with the right baits and the right uh, technique and just luck you can definitely put yourself on crap even after a heavily pressured day at a very public place like the jetty oh so good like a little tomato avocado big chunk of dungy look at that Tack on a giant mug of Duncan coffee. <sighs> two parts sugar, two parts cream, the way I like it. Man. A little bit of bacon on top of it. Mmm. Everything I love, everything my heart doesn't love. Can't beat it. Oh. I know what you guys are waiting for. Hold on, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is why we do sunny side up. <clears throat> yeah. The yolk mixing in with the garlic rice. Oh, check this out. We're gonna build the bite of all bites here. We've got our yolk, right? We've got some avocado. We've got some tomato. And the final piece Ooh. Look at that big chunk of Dungeness Crab right there. Hmm. Man, so worth the work. Bacon chaser, knock all that cholesterol down. <laughs> Super good. Well, I'm gonna go finish this. Thanks again for watching and thanks again for sticking around even though there was a break in the channel of real content. Uh, seems like we're back. It is Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, all the single fathers and all the single mothers out there. Without you, man, wouldn't get done. And thanks to the uh, Miss for making this Father's Day breakfast. One for the books. Man, all mine, not yours, but now you know how to catch crabs and make it yours and even cook something delicious like this. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.